uh, make a tax payment using the IRS website. So most people know that if you have an IRS online account, you can log in and make tax payments from there. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can uh, make a tax payment on the IRS website without having an IRS online account at all. So uh, we're on the payments page. I'll put a link in the show notes, uh, but you can see right here, we've got a couple of options of how the IRS can accept online payments. So we're, uh, we could use a credit card, debit card, or even cryptocurrency from a digital wallet. Uh, that goes through a third party processor. Uh, but in today's video, we're going to use what's known as direct pay, where we're paying directly from our bank account, uh, to the IRS website. And so that, so, um, in the other payment forms, the credit card, debit card, you have a third party processor, you have uh, fees that may be associated with it, depending on the type of tax account. So, uh, whether you're, a uh, filing personal tax returns or if you're uh, paying uh, business taxes and then also if you're paying a credit card versus a uh, debit card. So there are fees associated with that because these are third party uh, vendors. Uh, however, the direct pay using your bank account is free. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the direct pay with bank account. Uh, there's a tab that says pay individual tax. It's right underneath either personal tax payments. You can also pay your business tax this way if you wanted. Um, if you want to make payments, uh, most business owners uh, also are encouraged to set up an account using the electronic federal tax payment system. If you're paying payroll taxes or other excise taxes, uh, I, I believe that this is required. We're simply going to pay an individual tax bill. Uh, and then so we click that link and now we can look up a personal tax payment if we wanted to. Uh, if you want to look up a tax payment for, that you re made in the past, you would need to have your confirmation number and then your social security or your individual taxpayer ID number. So we're going to make a payment and this is going to take us to a, a different looking page. And so this is, uh, this is the direct pay page. Uh, and you can see up here in orange, we have tax information. We're going to select a reason for payment. So when we select this drop down, uh, there are a lot of different options that come up. Uh, they actually keep going up. Uh, this, uh, video isn't going to be able to show all of them. We're going to select estimated tax, but what you can do, if you're not sure, you can click on this question mark right here and it will give you a breakdown of, all right, what is the estimated tax? Well, this, this would be for your current year. If you're looking at making a payment on a prior uh, tax return, then this would be your balance due. Uh, you could be making a payment on your amended return or uh, perhaps uh, another one would be uh, at the filing deadline, you're filing an extension form and you just want to make an estimated tax payment based on your extension. So that that's how you would uh, do that. And then there's a lot of other ones for, you know, very, I guess, long tail purposes. So for today, we're going to select estimated tax. That's and when we select that, it's going to auto populate that this is estimated tax. Also, uh, what you would calculate on IRS form 1040 ES, the estimated tax, and it's for the current tax year, in this case, 2025. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to pop up with a window that says, please confirm estimated tax payment 1040 ES tax year 2025. Is this correct? We'll go ahead and continue. So now we're going to enter certain information for um, verification purposes and uh, we'll go from there. So, um, and then uh, one common thing that pops up is sometimes if you use the autofill, so here's my address, and then the autofill automatically populates the PO box for some reason. So if you're using a street address, uh, you shouldn't use a PO box. If you're using a PO box, you shouldn't have a street address. So that will pop up as a, as a flag every time. So um, I'll put the rest of my information kind of offline. So we were married filing a joint tax return. 
And so we're going to select continue. And then we'll enter our uh, information. So this is the payment information. Uh, you're going to enter basically however much we're paying. So in this case, let's just call it a dollar. And then I'm going to see if I can actually put in my account information offline so that it doesn't show up in this video. And then that way we can actually get through all of the steps of the video and you can see what uh, you should be doing once you get your confirmation. So if you bear with me just a moment, I need to pull up my um, account information to make sure that I'm actually redacting it at the same time. And I'll just put in my email splice out some uh, information and hopefully we can recreate this video so the interruption is uh, uh, minimized as much as possible. So I've gone ahead and I've put in my account information. I now need to read the authorization agreement basically saying that I'm allowing the financial institutions uh, within this application involved in my direct pay payment to receive information to perform an electronic payment of federal taxes. Basically, I'm letting my bank see some of my tax information so that I can use my bank to pay my tax bill. So the IRS really makes you um, uh, officially uh, agree to a lot of disclosure that kind of sounds rudimentary, but for the purpose of protecting your information. So you hit I, I agree. And then uh, and then uh, you're going to do your electronic signature. And then I'm going to accept this authorization agreement. And so when you submit it, you get a confirmation number. It basically says all the information you need, which is it's confirmed for, um, you know, in this case, the amount of $1 payment status is scheduled for today, August 18th. There's an estimated tax, the type of payment, the bank that it's coming from, the account information. So uh, all of that, here's a confirmation number. And then this is the number that you would use if you wanted to look up a tax payment. So I'm going to write this down and actually use this. Uh, in an upcoming video so and then that's really all we have uh, that's you know you get the confirmation we'll also have it in an email since I wrote my email address in there so um, that's all we have with uh, using the direct pay function to uh, make a tax payment uh, on the IRS website without having to log into an IRS account so um, we'll put links in the show notes to relevant resources, uh, you know, forms and such that you might use in conjunction with uh, these online tax payments, stuff like the uh, 1040ES, uh, amended tax return, extension forms, so on and so forth. We'll put links to all those resources in the show notes as well as the page where you can get started. So if you like our articles, please subscribe to our uh, newsletter. If you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, or if there's another topic that you'd like to see in an upcoming video, please hit me up in the comment section. Thank you very much and have a great day.